is a vehicle that will carry the rover between Earth and Mars. And that's going to look like this. This is the crew stage and the descent stage. So this will launch from Earth. It'll travel to Mars. The descent stage will detach and it'll enter and land, and then crew stage will just burn up in the atmosphere. So if you're on either end of the gallery and you can't see this picture, there are pictures posted um, of the crew stage. I'll show you on this end. So this is the entire assembly. So this is crew stage and descent stage, and the rover's all folded up in here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So here's a deconstructed view of how the whole thing kind of fits together. So that's how the rover fits inside all that. Now what they're building right now is this piece. This is the crew stage, this top part. This is what will uh, help to propel it to Mars. That is what you see in the middle of the room, right down here in the middle. The bronze, uh, the bronze circle, basically. So um, what they've done for the past several months, a lot of, a lot of times, basically, is attaching um, the support structures to uh, the crew stage. There's an inner ring that you see there that's called an LVA or a launch vehicle adapter. That's where that will attach to the launch vehicle. And then uh, there's these beams that run from the inner ring to the outer edge. Those are called intercostals. Uh, and then support structures that run in between them, those are called ribs. So they spent a lot of time attaching those very precisely to that crew stage. Um, because keep in mind, the maximum amount of structural support is needed is going to experience a lot of g-forces on its way to Mars. So now that they've done that, they do what's called a static test. So they'll attach a mass that's equal in weight to this descent stage to the crew stage, just the skeleton part. They'll lift the whole thing up very carefully and hope nothing bubbles. Static test. <laughs> so they did that uh, last week, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, so now what they'll do is they'll um, start doing more of the uh, wiring and things like that. And what they use for that, if you look on the right-hand side of the room, is a large piece of ground support equipment with a blue motor at the end. That's called the SPARF. That stands for a Spacecraft Assembly Rotating Fixture, also known as the rotisserie. <laughs> because what they'll do is they'll put that crew stage on the SCARF, and then they can rotate it at any angle, 360 degrees, in order to access the hard-to-reach areas and wiring and thermal and all the stuff that they need to do. So it looks like now... One of the other things they're working on, excuse me, is to, um, if you look, you'll see there's some panels over on the tables over there. Those are the solar array substrates. That's basically what they're going to attach the solar panels to for the cruise stage. Um, so that's pretty, basically where they're at. But the punchline is, everything that you see here in the middle of the room, that is flight hardware. That will be on its way to Mars in a few years. Any questions for me right now? What's the, the ground you want? Yeah. 